have a good handle on the, the lowering the head rule, or are you like you're just trying to sort your way through it? You know, I talked to a lot of coaches about it. It's just, you know, the guys get in funky positions. Sometimes it's, you know, it's in a, it's avo unavoidable to get those things. And, you know, we, we just try to teach the players to keep the head out of it, don't duck the head. And all you can do as a coach is keep re-going re over those things and reassuring these guys to understand what the rules are. But there, it's going to be hard to, to, you know, I saw one the other day. Uh, where the guy was coming off the edge on a rush and ducked his head and they threw a flag. So it's it's really all over the board with the DBs, open field uh, things. So we just got to keep educating the players the best we can. The Carl Joseph play in the first game. Yeah. When you looked at that, did you say, yeah, I can see why they called that? Or were you kind of like, all right, let's, let's try to figure this out? I actually asked the official right after the play was over. And I think sometimes when you hear the collision, it's just a natural tendency to throw the flag. And when you go back and look at the film, you can clearly see his head was to the side. And it wasn't it wasn't a helmet to helmet or or anything like that. And I've seen plenty of these. I think they, there was uh, someone told me there was 52 of them called in 33 preseason games. So, you know, I understand you're trying to to, to make the game safer, and we're all trying to do that. So, uh, but at some point, you know, it is football. As a, as a defensive guy, when you look at the, the, the lowering the head rule and the way it's been called sometimes in the, in the preseason, are you? Do you have a handle on it? Do you know what it is? Or are you still kind of wondering what you can do? Or are you just going to play and let the chips fall where they may? Uh, I mean, we do a good job of trying to teach the right technique. Uh, you know, unfortunately, in this game, sometimes you get in a position where, uh, you know, things happen and, uh, you know, you just got to adjust. Being a DB, that's that's our that's our job anyway. You know, yeah. you get beat sometimes. Certain things don't go your way. You got to adjust. So I think just from that, that's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the standpoint we're trying to look at it from. No matter what happens, we're just going to have to adjust to it. Do you feel like you do need to change or at least keep in mind the way that you're playing or the way that you're carrying your hands out there? Um, I mean, for my, for my speaking personally, you know, for my career, I've never really had a problem with it. So, um, you know, I'm just continue to do it as I've, I've been doing, and um, you know, if something happens, then I'll have to adjust from there. But the lowering the head rule is going to be legislated this year. You know what? I, I don't think anybody knows how that's going to go. That's that's going to be a, a gray area. Uh, but all you can do is just uh, try to play by the rules. It's going to be hard, especially for defensive players. Um, but at the same time, if, if you if you can see what you hit, you may you may be in good in good favor with with the rule. But it's it's going it's it's going to be gray. It's going to be gray. But uh, hopefully they won't uh, they won't call it too much. Do you think there's a chance that they're just kind of trying it out in the preseason and when the regular season starts, they'll maybe back off a little? Hopefully they can back off. I mean, especially for a defensive player because, I mean, we're hitting all the time. So it's some, you know, everybody's moving. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's very gray. Uh, hopefully they can back off back off on it. And uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a moving subject right now. It's moving. Personally, do you feel like there's – Anything that you would have to adjust about the way that you tackle or the way that you play that uh, just to stay in line with this rule or to avoid possible penalties? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm a little too old to change, so it's a little. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's of course you got to play by the rules. I mean, it's it's the, when you, when you can uh, um, tag off on a player or, or get your head in the right position so the crown of your head won't be down. You know, you, you try to do that, but you don't slow down your play. It, you know that's how you get hurt in the league, uh, in this league. Uh, you go, you, you go fast, and uh, um, you play fast at all times.